What is up, everybody? Thank you for joining me for another video. I appreciate it. Thank you for checking out the channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, notification bell, all that stuff. It really motivates me when I see those numbers come up. Once we get to a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. And I haven't fully decided what I'm giving away, but I've come a lot closer to an idea that I'm sure all of you will appreciate when the time comes. So let's get to a thousand subscribers so we can do that. I would love to do that. Today, as you can tell in the title below, we are going to be doing the Air Jordan 4 Reimagined. I'm gonna do a comparison between an authentic pair and a replica pair. And I'm also gonna be doing a review of the authentic pair and the replica pair, I guess you can say. First, we're going to check out the authentic pair. Now, before we get started, the authentic pair I have been wearing, so they are worn. The replica pair is dead stock. They've been taken out of the box to be looked at and put back in. That's it. I don't have the black hang tag for the authentic pair here for this video. I left it at my other spot, but as far as I can tell with the hang tags, they're identical. I looked at the replica one, which I will show you here in this video. It looks to me like it's probably good. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. We have Facebook groups, multiple Facebook groups. I have a main group that mainly is dedicated to authentic pairs because a lot of people have the hate for the replica pairs. So I did my best to separate the two. And I have a mainly authentic page. In the rules, it says you can post anything. But I have a real hard time controlling the hating and bashing that goes on when people do post replica pairs. So it is just suggested that you post your replica pairs in the other group. Which is actually got the word authentic and replica in the name you'll see it in the links below just check out the links below join the groups check them out the main group is almost fifty thousand people um there is a little bashing that goes on and i do my best to moderate it but for the most part that group is all about the love of the sneakers i do my very we as a group do our best to keep it that way but so much gets posted that things do get past us and I do highly, highly, highly recommend that if you come across anybody hating in the group, please feel free to message me directly and I will deal with it personally right there on the spot. With that being said, all links for all the groups below. I have a link below for the, the website where the replica pair came from. They are very well known. You can check out my prior videos to see other reviews of shoes from this same place and they have some amazing quality we're going to check out how these look compared to the authentics today um there were some people in my group that saw a preview picture of the two side by side one person said the replica pair looked authentic and somebody else came through and nitpicked that replica pair apart just from the one photo and was able to pick them out immediately so everybody has a different eye. I'm going to give my review and comparison here for everyone to check out. And you can let me know in the comments below what you think. I personally will be wearing the replica pair and putting up the authentic pair for the most part. I believe from what I could tell so far. And you will see here why I say that. And actually with that being said, no more jibber jabbering. Let's check out the two pairs. The first pair I'm pulling out is the authentic pair, which again have been worn. Here we go. All right, so we have the box, the reverse Jordan box, which I think is pretty cool. There's your, your hang tag, or not hang tag, <laughs> your size tag. Hang tag on the brain, because I don't have it here with me. Now you got your box. We're going to lift off the lid. Got the inside of the lid. And let's pull these things out and check them out. 
personally, I've been wearing these. They are amazing on foot. They are true to size as far as I can tell because they fit me perfectly and I have a size 12 and I'm a size 12. So here we go. You guys have been seeing the photos. You guys have been seeing the other review videos, I'm sure. These have been worn with soft crease protectors and currently have some of those inside of them for the video, just to let you guys check them out thoroughly. The, the leather on these is amazing. The tumbled leather, I'm, I'm really digging it. I have the suede pair. I've had the suede pair, the 2019. And yeah, those are great OG style, but these, this leather quality is, is really up there as far as I'm concerned. Um, you got your Nike Air on the back. You got your Widow's Peak on the front there. They look amazing. I'm totally happy with these. I love how these fit on my feet. I love, they're my basic, I, I have a lot of Air Jordan 4s. I um, haven't counted them, but I got a bunch of them. Here's the other one. And like, again, I've been wearing them. There's some, some creasing going on there. That's from driving. I am, a dri I am a delivery driver, so I'm in the car a lot. But they are getting worn. I'll let you guys see the, the wear on them. All right. I will be getting that out and making it to where they're not so creased when I put them up. But as I said, I've been wearing them a lot. Probably three or four days in a row now I've had them on and love them. Absolutely a must cop if you're going to grab them. If you're an Air Jordan 4, OG, Bread 4, all that fan, you need to have these in your life. The, the Widow's Peak. Get, get a good look at the Widow's Peak. Oh, the other shoe. And I want you guys to take real, real close note at, at the Widow's Peak on the authentic pair. Because we're going to see how they look on the replica pair here in a second. Again, they're worn. I've been wearing them happily. They're going to get put up after this video, and I will start to wear the replica pair, which we have right here. Now, as far as the boxes go, I guess I can pull the other box back over here and let you guys see, because this is a, a dead giveaway for replica pairs to authentic pairs when it goes to any pair of shoes from any brand, from any, any website you go. There is, this is always a thing. These, the difference in the size of the boxes themselves. Okay. Look at that. It's all the way to the edge there. And that's how much smaller the replica pair box is to an authentic pair. Okay, so the authentic pair is the bigger box. The replica pair is a smaller box. Oh, let's, let's do this the correct way. And you guys can get a check at the size tags together. Here's your size tag of the replica pair. Try to get that there. Obvious difference, all right? The authentic pair shows the men's and women's sizes. The replica pair just has the men's size on the box. So the boxes are dramatically different. Okay. Let's put the authentic box down. So the box size tag on the box, dramatically different. If someone is trying to sell you that as an authentic, you know they're a replica right off the bat. No doubt about it. We'll leave these in the background. Actually, you know what? Let's put these up right here. Because we're not done with these yet. We'll leave those there for you guys to look at. And you notice the vintage shirt in the background. I had to pull that down. Nah. All right. So, let's open up the box of the replica pair. Got your, your paper, which is very similar to the pit tissue in the box there. But we're not going to compare it because I don't really care about the tissue in the box. And how much it 
looks the same for the other ones. My thing is the shoes. So first and foremost, yes, initially you get the smell of the replica pair. Okay, let's put these side by side. Actually, we're just going to use one. Let's, let's take the left shoe. Random. We're going to take the two left shoes and put the right ones over here. All right. Now, on the left, in my left hand, which will be here, I'll have the replica shoe. My right hand will have the authentic pair. You guys can let me know what you think. The stitching is different. I can already see that on the toe box. The stitching is more in depth on the authentic pair and it's pretty obvious as far as the stitching goes. So that's the first thing. So let's check them out. We will give you the side by side first. Let's see if I can do this where you guys can look at. It. All right, authentic. Replica. Okay. Air bubble looks a little different. I can see that. Looks whiter on the inside. You guys can pick up on the air bubble. They're different. Looks like... Yeah. Looks like... So here... Between here and here is less room between there's less room right than on the off than the replica pair so there's there's more yeah okay so side by side they do look a little different I'm trying to get this so you guys can see it let's go ahead and look at the fronts of the shoe So, oh. replica, authentic. There's a slight widow's peak on this shoe. Much more prominent on this shoe. Okay, the back hit, pretty much the same. I will tell you, you look at that, not bad. A little different. This shoe, it seems a little flatter right here, right, under the, under the air. There's that difference there, okay. And the replica, it's soft, but still stiffer than this one. This is just loose and free. This is the authentic pair. Very, very loose, right? Not so, not stiff. This one you actually have to... So that's different on those. Got your... Air Jordan. the authentic one okay. so i mean really there is differences when you put them side by side and let's check out the other two let's check out the this is the two left shoes authentic and replica and we will pull out the authentic and replica shoe now on this shoe there is a widow's peak they did get it in there This is the replica. And the materials on the replica all around are very nice as well. The tumbled on the authentic isn't quite as tumbled of a material, if that makes sense. So like, let's get the insides of this shoe, right? So here's the authentic. It's tumbled, but this is much more tumbled on the replica pair. See the difference? So they're tumbled, but loosely tumbled is kind of how I like to put it. 
loosely tumbled, right? Or this is like overly tumbled leather. And I've noticed with most replica pairs, they try to make, when they try to make the, the high quality look, they get it a little, little overdone, right? It gets a little overdone. I have not put these on feet to see how they feel compared to an authentic pair, but now if you just take this shoe, right? First we'll, and, and take away, this is your authentic, this is the replica, right? So if you take away the authentic and just put it away off to the side over here, and you're just looking at this shoe, it's a good looking shoe. I wouldn't try to pass it off as an authentic and I would never do that with any of my replica pairs that I have. I happily tell people, yeah, this is, this isn't real. I'm not wearing, I'm not, especially if it's raining or nasty outside, I'm not even going to bother. What's the point? No, I'm not going to wear my $500 pair of shoes when I've got a pair here that cost $151 online. And we'll, I'll show you their website in a second, a couple of minutes here. But I mean, you can give me your opinion. I think that so the the toe tag the, the toe tags. What the hell is wrong with me? The tongue, the tongues. The jump mans, they are a different material, it looks like, possibly. Let me see this a little closer here. Yeah, they are a little different in the light, in the sun. The authentic pair, the jump man tag on the tongue. It actually looks like it matches the laces, right, as far as the color goes. And this one on the uh, uh, replica pair does not. It's more of a blackish gray, it looks, compared to that. So that's different. That's something to look out for. All right. Those are different. But again, when you take away the authentic pair and you're just looking at this shoe on its own, I mean, to have a basically a beater pair for 150 bucks that you can wear in the rain, wear in the mud, the snow. You know, I've heard people say that, oh, because of the tumbled leather, I can wear these out in the rain. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not, yeah, I've had these on the last few days, but they've not been out in the rain. I wouldn't feel right about putting these on in the rain, no matter what they're made of. That's just my personal belief. Uh, you guys all do your own thing, but I will not wear these in the rain if I can avoid it. Granted, if I get caught in the rain, if I leave my house and it's nice and all of a sudden it starts raining, I'm not going to freak out about them getting wet like I would with the suede or new buck pair. But if it's raining outside or it's nasty out, I'm going to go do something stupid outside and I want to, you know, have a nice looking pair of shoes on when I go out for $151. Why not? The inside of the shoe, the size tag, you know, pull the size tag. Get you a little view of that. I mean, they look good. Okay. I like them personally. I've been collecting Jordans since 1990. I've got 160 some odd, 170 pairs of authentic Jordans in my collection. And I think I'm up to 22 pairs of replicas. And there are shoes that either I would not, that I have the authentic pair and just don't want to beat them up. Or they're a pair that I could never afford to buy. So I got a, a replica pair from a reputable supplier. If you're looking for a reputable supplier of reps... Click the link below, check out Lux Shoes. The authentic pair, they're gorgeous. Get them if you can get them. You know, don't sleep on these. Don't pass them up. Don't, 
you you will you will regret it you'll see people wearing them you'll see them out and you're gonna wish that you had not had a pair this is my authentic left shoe not the replica all right see so again i mean it's a badass shoe pardon my language i love them I've been wearing them and the Nike Air is still held up. I like that, size tag. I love them. They did not come with these, by the way, the, the cardboard things. I just had them in here and swapped out the paper ones for the cardboard because I have enough of those laying around from old shoes. I love these. I highly, 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 highly suggest do not pass them up. And when you get them in hand, you're going to love them. Even if you're questioning yourself now because you're an OG fan and like the suede new buck, you'll get these in hand and go, damn, damn. Like I did when I opened them up. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about them when I got them, but they're amazing. I'm glad I got my pair. And if I can get a second authentic pair just for the hell of it, I would. I will. Hopefully. I'm trying when they release. All right, everybody. Air Jordan 4, bred, reimagined with creasing after being worn for days on end. And still an amazing shoe. Get your pair. Get them. You will not be disappointed. And if you want to grab a pair from Lux Shoes, click the link below for the replica pair. Because, yeah. There's nothing wrong with these either. And these will always be available for $151 and not three, four, five hundred dollars that they're going for right. The authentic pair is going for these days. All right, everybody. Again, subscribe if you haven't done so. Thumbs up on this video. Check out my past videos. Thumbs up those for me. It'd be great. I appreciate the support. Got a lot going on these days. But you guys help keep me motivated to do these videos. So I appreciate it. Let's keep it going. Get us to a thousand subscribers. And yeah, I will check you guys out next video. Have a great one. Peace, love, and take care of each other.